So here's what you're looking at right now. Actually still pretty nice out there. 81 for Tampa, 80 now in St. Pete. We're parked at 83 Land Lakes, 85 in Bradenton. But notice that we tend to run just a little bit cooler in our inland spots as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures are going to start to warm up a little bit more closer to the coast, and that's thanks to northeasterly winds. When we get that pattern, we tend to see the warmer temperatures in western parts of our area. So what we're going to plan on this afternoon is unless you're right along the coast, plan on mid to upper 80s for the Bay Area. And then as we head into Sarasota, Manatee counties, places like Lakewood Ranch, you're flirting with that 90 degree mark, whereas we're going to stay a little bit cooler for our inland spots and that's because that water is going to be blowing across the Atlantic first. It's coming from the east. Those water temperatures are still in the 70s, so it takes more time to really moderate as it moves over land. That's why by the time it gets to the Bay Area or to the I-75 corridor, things are starting to heat up just a little bit more. Then as we head through the evening, everyone backs down into the 60s again tonight. Notice clear skies, nothing in the way of significant cloud cover rain chances, but we keep those easterly winds. So no big changes to the forecast coming up through the overnight hours. Can Cannot rule out just a stray sprinkle this afternoon, but we're talking a little blip of moisture that most of us aren't going to see. But like we saw yesterday, plan on a little bit more cloud covers. We head toward the evening. So like I was telling you yesterday at 530, there's a little bit more clouds to kind of block out some of those sunset photos. But as we head later in the week, we should start to see some really, really stunning sunsets in and around the Tampa Bay area. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. We are going to warm things up today. We should be right around 87. 788 for much of the Bay Area. 89 flirting with that mark as we head into tomorrow. And then Thursday, I think that's the day we managed to actually hit 90 in Tampa. Now, we've actually did that one time uh, about a week ago in the month of uh, April, but we're going to probably see many more of those as we head into May. In fact, the first week we may get three during the afternoon. Our overnight temperatures don't change much either. We'll generally stay in the mid 60s. Now, what happens as we head toward the weekend? Notice just a little bit more cloud cover. We're going to see more of a southeasterly wind, so that's going to start pulling in more moisture. Our humidity values are going to come up just a little bit, still not unbearable, but keeping things warm, also dropping our temperatures just a hair for Sunday, making Saturday or Sunday a pretty nice beach day coming up this weekend.